All right, so we're diving into something you guys have been asking about a lot. You know, keeping everything locked down security-wise, whether it's stuff you've got sitting on a server in the back room or floating around in the cloud, it gets messy. Yeah, keeping it all straight can be a real headache. That's exactly what we're digging into today, the whole cloud and on-premises security puzzle. Right, because it really shouldn't feel like you're running two separate security companies. Yeah, and how do we bring it all together? We're going to break down a pretty cool new approach that's specifically designed to do just that. Make it simpler, more efficient, just better. Less stress, that's for sure. I mean, think about it if you didn't have to constantly worry about whether you'd missed applying a crucial setting on one side or the other. That'd free up a ton of mental bandwidth, wouldn't it? For sure. Less chance of things slipping through the cracks, too. And the roadmap for this deep dive is, well, it all started with Zeisel Networks. They just announced some serious upgrades to their USG Flex H-Series firewalls, and what caught my eye was their focus on bridging this gap we're talking about. Syncing cloud and on-premises configurations, especially for the SMBs and MSPs out there. It's like they're reading our minds, right? Because this split, it's been the norm for far too long. On one side, you have your physical network with its own set of rules and firewalls than on the other. You've got the cloud with its own management interfaces, often with completely different dashboards and controls. Yeah, like trying to speak two different security languages at the same time. And that's exactly what leads to these, uh, what do they call them, security silos. All right, let's break that down a bit. What does that actually look like for, say, a small business owner trying to keep their data safe? I mean, what's the practical impact of these silos? So picture this right. You need to block some nasty traffic, something malicious. In a siloed setup, you're probably going to have to configure a rule on your physical firewall first. You know, using its specific interface, its language, right? Then you got to switch gears, log into your cloud management interface. And guess what? You have to recreate that same rule all over again, potentially in a completely different way, because it's got its own quirks. Not only is this eating up your time, but it's like double the chance of messing something up. You might forget to apply the rule in one environment, and boom, there's a vulnerability. Yeah. So it's not just annoying, it's downright risky. Double the work, double the chance of a security snafu. So Zeisel solution, this new approach. It's not just about making the cloud and on-premises setups aware of each other. That wouldn't really solve the problem. You hit the nail on the head. It's not just about awareness, it's about integration. Okay, integration. That sounds like a step in the right direction. But what does that actually look like in the real world? How are they pulling this off? What's impressive here is the level of synchronization. This is where the rubber meets the road with integrating cloud and on-premise. They're talking about syncing up your security policies. Absolutely. So let's say you change a rule, something about which countries can access your network, for example. That change automatically applies to both your on-premises firewall and your cloud security settings. It's like they're magically in sync. No more double entry. Nope. No more double entry. And remember that example they gave about network objects? You define a new server or a segment of your network locally, and it's instantly available in their Nebula Cloud interface. Okay, yeah, that's huge. <laughs> I'm already seeing how much time and hassle this could save. No more manually typing in lists of IP addresses or device names in two different places. Exactly. But hold on, we're not done. There are also synchronizing high availability settings. So your failover configurations, the stuff that keeps you running if a piece of hardware goes down, that's all synced up too. And the coolest part, you can make a change in your regular, familiar on-premises firewall interface, and it's mirrored in the cloud console or vice versa. It's a two-way street. So the big win here is, like we said, no more manual duplication, less room for error, more consistency. It's almost like a single source of truth for your security settings, no matter where they need to be applied. Exactly. And just imagine the amount of mental space that frees up. You can focus on the bigger picture instead of getting bogged down in the minutia of keeping two separate systems in sync. I like the sound of that. Now, they also mentioned something called the Entry Defense Pack, EDP, comes standard with the USG Flex H series. What's the deal with that? So, thinking about it in the context of this whole unified security approach, the EDP seems to be like a baseline, a foundational layer of protection that's there right out of the gate. It includes their reputation filter, which basically acts like a bouncer at the door, keeping out known troublemakers by blocking communication with known malicious websites and IP addresses. It also includes secure reporter analytics, which I'm guessing gives you a centralized view of what's going on across both your on-premises and connected clouds. So it's like having a security guard watching both the front door and the back door at the same time. 
Exactly. And to top it off, it includes priority support. That can be a lifesaver, especially for smaller businesses that might not have a dedicated IT security team. It's like a security starter pack. Gets you up and running with a good level of protection across both environments right from the start. Makes it a lot less intimidating to set up, especially if you're not a security expert. Now, onto the tech side of things. They were talking about AI-powered performance and multi-layered security. Sounds like they're taking on both the need for speed and the fact that cyber attacks are getting more and more sophisticated. Oh, absolutely. They're claiming their next generation hardware delivers a massive performance boost. They actually said three times the firewall, VPN, and UTM performance compared to the older models. Plus, with speeds ranging from 1G to 10G, these firewalls are built to handle the ever-increasing amount of data flying around our networks. And the deep defense they mentioned, what does that actually look like for a network that spans both physical and cloud environments? That's all about layering security measures. It's like having multiple lines of defense. They're not putting all their eggs in one basket. They're incorporating a bunch of AI-driven features to create this multi-layered approach. Okay, so it's not just one thing. Give us some examples. Well, they're using IKF2 EAP and SSL VPN for secure remote access. This ensures that even when people are working from home or on the go, they're still protected under that same unified security umbrella. They also have sandboxing, which is kind of like a digital quarantine zone where they can safely analyze suspicious files. Then there are the more familiar layers like anti-malware, DNS IP URL filtering, intrusion prevention, IPS, to detect and block suspicious activity, and application patrol to control what software is allowed to run. So even if something slips past one layer, the next one's there to catch it, whether the threat comes from the cloud or target something on premises. Now, they also touched on enhanced identity and access security with a Nebula cloud integration. How does that factor into this whole unified security approach? It's a crucial part, especially when you're talking about managing access across both cloud and on-premises resources. They're enforcing two-factor authentication, 2FA, at the organization level through the Nebula cloud platform. So it's not just about protecting the network itself. It's about controlling who gets on the network in the first place. Right. It's about adding that extra layer of verification. So 2FA is pretty much a must-have these days. Passwords alone just aren't enough anymore. Precisely. Consistent enforcement across both cloud and on-premises access points. They're also using Microsoft Entra ID for authenticating users who are trying to access the captive portal on Nebula-managed wireless access points. This simplifies things for legitimate users while also providing an extra layer of security for your Wi-Fi network. Only authorized people can connect, whether they're on-site or connecting remotely through cloud-managed Wi-Fi. Absolutely. Yeah. It means these features are being developed based on what people are actually struggling with, not just some theoretical idea of what security should look like. Right. Real-world problems, real-world solutions. It makes their approach a lot more credible. So the big question, when can people actually get their hands on this new integrated security setup? They said it's going live in April 2025. The specifics are you'll need a USG Flex H series firewall running Nebula version 19.00 and firewall firmware version UOS v1.32. Good to know. So bringing it all back around, what we see here is a pretty significant shift in how businesses can approach security in this hybrid world we live in. It's about tearing down those walls between cloud and on-premises environments. And it's not just about making it easier to manage, though that's a huge part of it. It's about creating a stronger, more consistent security posture across the board. No more security islands. Here's something for everyone listening to ponder. How could a truly unified approach like this change the game for your IT strategy? Think about the efficiency, the peace of mind. What could you achieve if you weren't constantly trying to keep two security worlds in sync? If you're ready to go deeper and see how this convergence could fit into your organization's security plans, they've got more information on their website. You can find the link in their announcement. Definitely worth checking out, especially if you're dealing with the challenges of securing a hybrid environment. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Catch you on the next deep dive.